Hello my dear friends, in this video I am going to introduce you with central nervous system. Central nervous system, the central nervous system is brain and spinal cord. So brain and spinal cord together are the part of central nervous system. So when we talk about central nervous system, there is a gray matter as well as a white matter. So gray matter and white matter. What is this gray matter? The gray matter of central nervous system is made up of the group of cytons. My dear friends, you would have read that when you talk about nerve, the nerve is having a cyton and a exon and then some exons and there are some dendrites to make connections with other nerves. So this cyton is having the nucleus in it, right? An impulse is going through the exon. Along the exon, you would have read that there is a myelin sheath. So my dear friends, you can see this is a representative diagram. It is having a cyton, this is cyton. So this part is your exon. So this part is going to give you, with their exon, gives you white matter. While the group of cytons makes gray matter. When we talk about brain, Brain is divided into forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. What is this forebrain? What is this midbrain? And what is this hindbrain? Forebrain is also known as, you would have read about it, forebrain is also known as prosencephalon. Prosencephalon. Midbrain is also known as mesencephalon. Mesencephalon. And hindbrain is also known as rhombencephalon. Rhombencephalon. My dear friends, you must remember the names. The nomenclatures are really important when we talk about understanding the body. Again, you guys have to remember that prosencephalon is further divided as diencephalon, diencephalon, and telencephalon. Midbrain is mesencephalon, is not divided in anything else. So you can directly call it as mesencephalon. While your hindbrain, the rhombencephalon, is further divided as myelencephalon. is brain stem. So my dear friends, when we talk about brain stem, you have to remember, you can see, I'm taking a cross section from anteriorly. So the topmost part of the brain stem is nothing but mid brain. So midbrain is the top of brainstem. Below to the midbrain, there is a structure known as pons. So pons is a part of hindbrain, right? And below the pons, the brainstem comprises of medulla, 
oblongata. And below the medulla oblongata, the central nervous system continues in the form of spinal cord. So my dear friends, when we talk about brain stem, the topmost is the midbrain. Below to the midbrain is pons and below to the pons is medulla oblongata. There is one more thing you need to remember that midbrain is mesencephalon, pons and medulla oblongata is a part of hindbrain. And one more thing is there in the hindbrain and that is behind the brain stem. If you see from here, that is behind the brain stem and that thing is known as cerebellum. That is behind the brain stem. Okay, my dear friends, so this is an introduction of the brain. Now, let us talk about 